Yolan Rolls Reacts here, and welcome to another blind commentary. I'm back with My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 9, this time with Episode 4, Twilight 7. Um, from the title, I'm guessing it has something to do with Twilight and her friends, including Starlight. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe they might be given their own artifacts, like how the Pillars of Light had their own. But let's go ahead and get started. Start writing and Twilight, Twilight the taking I just got. care of the uh, paperwork. Whoa. <gasps> Do you know what this means? Uh huh. Uh, what? I don't. What's so exciting about a toy crown? Toy crown. Uh -oh. This is no toy crown. It's the hard won helm of the sibling supreme. When Shining Armor and I were small, we competed over everything. Oh. So he taught you everything and then tried to see if he was better at you at it. Okay, then. To keep it friendly, our parents gave us gold stars every time we did something special. Okay. Sharing. Getting good grades. Oh. <laughs> Shining really report joke. card. And at the end of each week, <laughs> we'd add up the stars. The sibling with the most will win the crown of the sibling supreme and bragging rights. Till next time. Wow. Guess that explains your love of charts and so much else. Yeah. I guess. always wanted to be sibling supreme one day. Meet me at Celestia's castle to decide who deserves the crown once and for all. Race, Race you there. there! Okay then. Interesting. Guess I'll watch the school? Yeah. You should do that. Also, that poor student. <laughs> Good thing she was a unicorn, though, so she could easily pick that up. You know, we always see Vinyl walking around the school grounds in the intro, but I don't think she's ever actually been to the school. Uh, or has she? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure she has, though. Look, I know you've always held a grudge because I left home with this. Grudge? <laughs> what grudge? Just because you've had it for way longer than you should have and I never got a chance to win it back. Oh. With the return of Sombra, so he was the Princess last Luna one. and I felt it was time to reinforce the castle's defenses. I said we could do it ourselves, but some ponies are a bit stubborn. <laughs> so I asked our old captain of the guard to handle the job. I've taken the security here to a whole new level. The only thing I need now is some pony to test it. <gasps> you want me to break into Celestia's castle? Ooh. If you can get past my defenses, steal the crown, and get out, you'll be sibling supreme forever. Forever. But if you fail, I keep the crown. Deal. Wait, Wait, are you sure this counts? Mom and Dad aren't giving us any stars. I will represent their authority. And thank you, Twilight. I agree with well, Luna. If there are any holes this is ridiculous. Security. And there aren't. I've designed a multi-tiered, impenetrable, triple-backed-up line of defense. The castle is surrounded by shards of Queen Chrysalis's throne. Thanks huh. to Star Swirl, its anti-magic powers are now tuned to stop any creature from using a spell to get inside. You can't fly in. Okay, either. interesting. Giant fans keep any creature from flying too close to the castle. But it's included, apparently. Plus, the entrances to the tunnels below the castle have been sealed, so there's no underground access. And even if you could get in, which you can't, I've doubled the ranks of security. Ponies protect every hallway and door, which can only be opened with Royal Guard medals. Okay, then. Even wow. if you've got an army, the throne room is the safest spot in Equestria. I rigged a floor trap to activate at the slightest touch. But say you avoid the floor, still no luck, because I've employed nature's alarm system. What in the world? Geese, 
You can hear their honks all the way in Ponyville. Plus, they bite. <laughs> okay, then. So that's what we're up against. Whew, that's a barrel and a half of obstacles. Plus a bushel and a peck of impenetrability. And all of this is to win some fillyhood competition with your brother? It's more than that. Okay, it's exactly that. And to protect Celestia's castle. If it means that much to you, Twilight, we're in. Well, I, was already I in. didn't know that she could get <laughs> help. Want to hang? What these? Of course we'll help. But how? Shining Armor may have come up with some great security, but I'll never guess Twilight's plan. We play to our strengths and defeat all of the security measures. That way, if one of us fails, the others will still have a shot at getting the crown. Oh, I see. You'll distract the guards with a surprise party. Yes, sir, Twilight, sir! Applejack, you'll buck your way into the sealed tunnels. Rainbow Dash, <laughs> if any pony can outfly those wind turbines, it's you. Rarity, you'll sew us guard costumes so we can sneak past security. Then Fluttershy will disable the throne room alarm by charming the geese. Okay. It's from Shining Armor. Is it saying? Dear Twilight, hope your idea isn't just some balloons, tunnels. He guessed your whole plan. What? Pinkie Party Rarity Costumes signed the future sibling supreme? Oh, come <laughs> on! Twilight, I mean, even if that is the case, he didn't change your anything, own brother. right? So you're saying I should give up? I'm saying your brother will win. No matter how brilliant your plan is, no matter how many variations you try, it will be something your brother expects, and he'll always win. Unless... When the perfect chance comes along, you do something he can't expect. Then you'll win. You've been practicing that speech, haven't you? <laughs> A little bit. It felt like I rushed. Did I rush it? No. Absolutely not. Oh, no. Yeah, it was fastish. <laughs> we have to do the opposite of what Shining Armor expects. Therefore, Twilight cannot mastermind the plan. But I can! Really? That's definitely unexpected. I don't see this ending well. Uh, how is you making a break-in plan the opposite of Twilight doing it? Because my plan is for each of us to devise our own unexpected part of it. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so you all do whatever you want? Oh, hey, this style again. Reference back to information. Uh, Rarity Investigate. We got questions, and you're gonna serve us up some answers, Juice Jackie. Where is the secret entrance to the passages under Candlelock Castle? Shining armor sealed them all. There's no secret entrance. There's always a secret entrance! So make like a glass of OJ and spill! <laughs> Her sitting on the moon, was that a DreamWorks logo reference? <laughs> oh, Pinky, that tickles. <laughs> I don't think that helps. How about something a little more down to earth? Like, I distract the guard boys with a farewell performance earth, by my alter Earthly. ego, famous country western superstar, Apple Cord. I didn't know you had an alter ego. And why would she be giving a farewell performance? Well, it's a long story. Okay. Back on the farm, playing music was about making her family smile. Word of her talent spread, and soon Apple Cord was playing real shows. The more she played, the bigger those shows got. But she missed playing for her family. So one day, she gave it all up. Seeing her family smile was all she ever wanted from her music. Of course, Apple Cord could come out of retirement for a farewell concert this one time. Wait, did you just make all that up, or did that actually happen? Um, yeah, she sense. made that up. <laughs> Fluttershy, Spike? Well, I guess the opposite of what I'm good at is being in small spaces. 
I always wanted to be a super spy. Is that the opposite of anything? Special Agent Fluttershy. Target detected below. It's almost too easy. Okay. I don't think lasers work like that, but okay. Also, there is no laser defense in the throne. Mm, I guess I'm the only one left that still needs a plan. Oh no, darling. That is the plan. You shall do nothing. <gasps> Shining armor definitely won't expect that. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. By the way, I forgot to mention that this is the 200th Applejack? Um, My Little Pony Friendship what are you is Magic doing? episode. Applejack? <laughs> Who's that? My name's Apple Cord, and I've got a couple of songs to play for you. Clap your hooves if you know them. And a one and a two and a. My love is like a barrel, a barrel full of hay. <laughs> okay. The Wonder Bolts did a flyby. And the only way past those giant fans and into the castle ducks is here. But there's no room for mistakes. Just like space travel. Uh, Pinky, we're not actually going into space, right? No, <laughs> silly. I'm dropping you two off as soon as we're close to the fair. Then I'm going into space. You think you need a space suit for the rest of your body, but okay. Oh. Why is Twilight here? Twily. Nope, just looking at the flowers. <sighs> right. <laughs> Ooh, maybe Rarity's plan will work. Yeah, we have a <laughs> yeah, I got the feeling. I know that one's a crowd favorite. Let's say we play it one more time. And a one, and a two, and a. <laughs> Distraction's a distraction. What? Oh, right. You need that to get into the throne room. Where's Spike and Fluttershy? Did they make it into the castle? They jumped out right before the balloon went. But that's all I can see without being in space, where I didn't get to go. Yeah. Let's hope Rarity and Rainbow feeling Dash that had better luck. Wouldn't. What's this? Closed? Huh, the CD Juice Joint is always closed around this time. Then how are we meant to shake down Nandu Wells for information? What sort of information do you need? Um, the location to a secret entrance to the passages under Canterlot Castle. You mean that one? Yes, thank you. That will do nicely. You're looking for an unsealed one, though, right? Separate. Is that? Zephyr's <laughs> a royal guard now? Oh, is this perfect? He's the most annoying pony in Equestria, and he's totally obsessed with me, and we have to exactly. come up with a way to distract- Oh no, oh no 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 way, uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Rainbow! I knew you'd come running when you heard I got this job. The mayor's love a pony in uniform, am I right? Not really. <laughs> I mean, uh, totally. Why don't you step into the light so I can see how uh, handsome you look in it? <laughs> that guard outfit does not fit him, I noticed. Really? I told the Sarge that gold kind of clashes with my aura, but apparently they aren't big on input. Still, I totally managed to rock the look, don't you think? Yep. You're real guard material. I'm part of the castle team now, so I'm basically... Whoa! We got a swooner! Well, it's good you're finally being honest with your feelings for me, Rainbows. Ugh, 
<laughs> the truth is such a gift. Like, I had to follow my bliss to see guarding is my calling. Like, look at me go. I'm gonna walk over here and I go, whoo, over there. And I go, yeah. And sometimes I just stand like this and look real cool. And I go down the hallway and go, oh, no, Okay, no, great. No. It's great that he can distract himself. <gasps> we'll have to glide to the throne. No flapping. Do not get caught in the trap door. Uh oh. Yep, there they go. Sister! Another false alarm from Shining Armor's guard piece. <laughs> I love how upset Luna is she with this whole thing. Now. Something must have gone wrong. Probably several somethings. <gasps> no lookout, no distraction. And no word from the ponies inside. I'm starting to think this whole operation might be a giant flaw. Well, we still don't know if uh, Rainbow and um, Rarity can help. Gee, Fluttershy, I thought your whole small spaces thing was just part of the plan to be unexpected. Once I got trapped in the castle of the two sisters, and Angel Bunny and I were separated. Now whenever I'm in a tiny room, it's all I can think about. I was so worried he felt alone and forgotten. I know what that's like. What do you mean? I was always excited to be a part of Twilight's and Shining Armor's rivalry, like I was their little brother. But they never really thought of me that way. I know they both have a special place in their heart for you. But sibling dynamics are hard, trust me. Right, Zephyr Breeze. Honestly, he can learn a lot from you about being a little brother. Uh, I am me. sick of being lost in these slimy corridors too! But you shouldn't pull every lever you come across! Half of them are traps! And the other half might open a secret passage to the castle! It's not worth the risk! <laughs> Hello, Spike. Even if we did find our way back to the castle, we'd still have all of those gone. Spike? Oh, okay, what are then. you guys doing down here? We, uh, kind of fell through the floor. I don't think our plan is working. If we both hit dead ends, perhaps we should return to the outside and reevaluate. Or not. <laughs> what are you all doing out here? Retrospect? Our plan might have been too unexpected. <gasps> Every part of it failed? Oh, now I'll never get the crown. I mean, there's no time limit. Doing things the Twilight way. You mean the totally expected way? It may not be a surprise, but you have a pretty good record for planning things. Then I guess yes. it's worth a try. Thanks, Spike. What are little brothers for? <laughs> okay. You all know well. what to do. That's heartbreaking. I'm guessing that Shining Armor didn't fill his guards in on the plan that he was expecting from, from Twilight. I do like the upgrades to the security system, though, I have to say that. Though I swear if the upgrade was just for to the sake fair, of this. It was never made specifically clear to me what guarding actually means. So this is on you. What? <laughs> I'm strong, Twilight, but not even I can buck through solid rock. That's why I brought a specialist. Oh, hey Mark. Wait, why not just have Mod bear like drill through it because you know she did that once. Next shift, you're on break. Okay. You've been glaring so hard. Who wants a feather massage? <laughs> We mapped this out and got nice. lost in here. The lever to the secret hallway entrance should be here. Wow. You know, now that I think I can't about it, this worked. 
The fact that she could bypass it this easily means that it's not really oh, that great of a security system. Crown, and I'll be sibling supreme forever. Not exactly. Oh, hi. Oh, come on! Gotta admit, it was unexpected for you to do everything exactly how I thought you would. But you should know by now, there's no way to beat the true sibling supreme. I am sorry, Twilight. But it looks as though Shining Armor has truly won the crown. How? That's the thing about looks. They can be deceiving. Spike? How in Equestria did you do it? Come on. You two don't think you have the only sibling rivalry. I had an inside pony help. Oh, hi. It wasn't hard to miss <laughs> there was some disagreement on the whole security thing. I said we could do it ourselves, but some ponies are a bit more stubborn. So, oh, Shining Armor that's on what... And on about all his improved security measures. Of course, Luna, Luna and Spike teamed up. She put Zephyr in charge of the catacombs and helped keep Celestia out of the castle hallways. Once Luna was on board, I just had to do my part. And make sure we stuck to Twilight's plan so we'd all get to the throne room at the same time. I knew Shining Armor would let it play out until the last possible second. Then... While everyone was distracted by its gloating, all Luna had to do was float the crown over to me. Wow. That is amazing. <clears throat> I, uh, apologize for not listening to your concerns, sister. It seems we need to make adjustments to account for threats inside the castle as well as out. <laughs> if Celestia's you agree, face. If you think it's worth discussing. <laughs> so, if Twilight and Shining Armor failed, who gets the crown? Spike does. The true sibling supreme. Spike. Huh? The little brother we've always had. Huh? <laughs> wow. Also, it just dawned on me why this is called Twilight 7. It's an Ocean's Eleven reference. Because of the whole heist theme of this uh, episode, but yeah, that would that was a fun episode, and like I mentioned, it was the two hundredth one, which is why it doesn't really have anything to do with the season nine plot they set up in the premiere. Just like how the last special they did, Slice of Life, didn't really um, connect into anything. But I actually really liked this episode, and I like that Spike is being seen as more of an equal rather than just an assistant by Twilight and Shining Armor. And that was devious. I did not see that coming, that Spike and Luna teamed up like that. But it makes sense, because remember, Luna had a sibling rivalry with Celestia, and still does a little bit. So, yeah, that was cool. Though I do wonder what... um what Luna's plan was, since it seems like she had to go with Spike's plan. And I really like the dynamic between Celestia and Luna at the end there. That Celestia was trying really hard not to blow her, uh, blow a fuse in front of every pony in the room. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon, and check out my gaming channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules Reacts, signing off. Talk to you later. Talk